So as you can see behind us, uh, we're taking the old dart. You can go ahead and look back there. Uh, we're taking the old dart for a, uh, a bath today. The underneath of this thing is absolutely filthy. So let's go see if we can spray some stuff off with that here high power hose. See you guys in a minute. So here's what we're cleaning. Uh, yeah. Holy gunk to the gunk. That's actually a trance cooler, but you can't see it because it's caked with so much crap right now. Ew. Sorry about the finger. Whoa. Crazy, huh? Let's clean this up. Even after spraying the heck out of this thing for like eight minutes with the power washer, there's still so much grime that I need to clean off there. So this is about as good as I could get for now. You can see in the back of the pan there, a bunch of it didn't come off. You can kind of see the diaper a little better, but man, that thing was so disgusting. And as I look back here, notice that sticker up there. This was kind of shocking to find. It's a Socks in Martin pinion snubber. I didn't know Socks and Martin even sold pinion snubbers, but this dart has one on it, so I, I guess they did. Pretty cool find. It's awesome when you clean stuff up, you actually get to take a look at it. It's out of here, everybody. Finally, what a pain in the butt, what a piece of crap. Now we just gotta clean this up. There's no reason that I should have taken that off. Those welds are perfectly fine. No, not in any way. After about an hour of nonstop grinding, Brian was able to get the old cage parts removed and cleaned up without damaging the pipes, which was my concern. But it looks beautiful, so I just need to prime it now, get it all painted up, so we're on our way. We also need to cut off the spline here and put the correct one on for my new steering wheel. The other thing we have working on right now is the seat mounts. We're going to get this seat. As you can tell, we're using wood to position it. But we're going to weld in new tabs for that and get that mounted. Uh, weld new tabs on the back of the cage so we are much safer in the end of the day. Here's the new spline. This is for the Grant-style steering wheel that I'm using. As you can see here, uh, they are quick release steering wheels this is the new style like that so when we cut the old one off weld that on that steering wheel will be functional versus the old worn out Mopar one that had that big bolt style I'm gonna use some low gloss farm and implement paint to clean up the floorboards inside here before the carpet comes in we lay that down I just want to get a nice seal on that floor that's more like it Check that out. That, that implement paint is really nice for covering up stuff like this. Pretty forgiving. Just wanted a good seal before we put that new carpet in. This thing is starting to take shape. As you can see, the other side, we're not done yet until, we're, uh, until we finish welding the seat mounts. Here's the new 3.5 inch exhaust with the Cook's bullets on there. This is a quick release exhaust, so I have uh, just one clamp at the front, a bolt in the back, and I can pull it off at the all right, so we got the other side of the exhaust on here. We're going to go ahead and give this thing its first fire up with exhaust on. So here's what Brian was up to while I was at work today. Dude, awesome. New fuel cell is installed. He even painted around in the little spare tire hole. Got brand new line run. This still needs to be relocated underneath. We're gonna change out the line all the way to the front once I get my new pump. But we're gonna relo relo relocate that. I gotta paint all up in through here. And then, uh, yeah, exciting times. Very happy. Appreciate you, Brian, thanks. Here's the old fuel cell. Had no baffle in it, no nothing. Sorry, bud. Evicted. Hey, turn the fuel pump on, make sure it don't leak. Tell me what you got, you got pressure? Yeah. 
I got zero leaks, man. Go ahead, start up. Hey guys, it's okay. Everything is okay. I know this is a hell of a good tank. You know why? It was inspected and by none other than Zhao Wei Dong. Yeah, baby. The Donger. Oh, look at that. Much better. Yeah. Now we're starting to get purdy. Look at that, boys and girls. Fancified. I'm liking it. Well, as some of you may have heard, there's a, I think we got a little exhaust leakage on this uh, header gasket, which is uh, something we'll have to address as well, but hey, got the carb cap in. Yay, way to go Jags. So things are coming along. Got a whole lot left to do. Next thing I'm gonna work on here is I'm gonna put a pusher fan in here so we can get a little more air in there because uh, old skeetly deet here just ain't doing the trick, so gonna get that ordered up and uh, measured out try and get some things some tabs welded in here so when we put it in it's not too hard to do and we're gonna keep on going from there so here's what we got left to do up oh, trunk plates done uh, steering wheel spline we got to get that done we got to rebuild the carb mount the seats I got to save money for a shifter do the wheel studs check the motor plate uh, uh, fuel log carb brake lines make sure all that stuff is good uh, make sure we have the gear ratio they said that was in there check for uh, fluid in the rear and uh, it's reverse shift pattern we get that figured out uh, we're doing the fan mounts right now and then pretty much check absolutely everything so that's what we got left I appreciate you guys watching this video we'll see you on the next one say good night to the bad guy